evening, everybody. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We welcome you ringside for a much-anticipated bout. Let's set the table for you and get ready to dish up this big night of action. Mayweather's ring walk is one of those ring walks where you realize how attentive this fighter is. This is a guy who has his eye on the prize and nothing will distract him. Roberto Duran's giving us one of those attitudes like, hey, it's just another day at the office. I know exactly what I'm about to do. gentlemen protect yourselves at all times let's touch him up here we go Black smart. 15 Black smart. rounds scheduled here in this much anticipated fight and we are underway with round number one what does the boxer have to be very aware of in terms of how he can get himself into trouble when he faces a brawler. Well, there's a couple areas that the boxer really has to be on his P's and Q's. One, don't get trapped on the ropes because then you're allowing the brawler to have exactly the place he wants. Also, when you're stepping away, and you're gonna be going away from a strong guy, don't step away naked. That's a well-scored left hand by Roberto Duran. Good way to protect the midsection. Mayweather's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Mayweather's able to avoid that punch. Back to the body! Mayweather's got to feel that right there. He was just tagged by a big uppercut. And now he's targeting upstairs. Teddy, I don't think he's got vision for sticking around too long. He's landed power punches early. Yeah, he wants to make it a quick night's work. Halfway through round number one. That is a strong uppercut there. Duran's punch didn't come close. Combo, combo. Let it go. Money's right hand scores well that time. Will you look at this? Look at this pace that these two are fighting at so early in the fight. Teddy, each man must have been determined to think they can get the other one out of here early. Yeah, I want to see who blinks first, though. That's what's interesting to me. Who changes? They can't both keep this up. Keep your head moving. Keep your head moving. Last 10 seconds of this first round. Chance. There you go. You gotta take a chance. 
Nice and relaxed. This is what I need you to do. Keep shooting that jab to his chest. His hands will drop. Then follow with the power shot. Keep this guy off balance with it. Where does your body work? Here we go. Round two is underway. Locking that punch. Very good defense by Money. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Unable to make an impact there by Roberto Duran. Work the body. Work that body. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Just like this, just like this. Good flush shot upstairs. Halfway through this round here. Keep working the body. Locks away that headshot. Keep the you can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Hitting his mark there, going upstairs. Well timed by Money. He took a step back, landed the counter punch. He gets to him with an uppercut. Oh man, he's in rough shape after absorbing that blow. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Roberto Duran. Parries that punch intended for the head. Oh, he is absolutely affected by that right hand. Never saw it coming. Worst kind of right hand you can catch. He should tie up here. Keep moving your head. Come on, keep moving. And we come to the end of round number two. Roberto Duran is really impressing us here tonight. That last round, boy, he was on top of his game and all over his opponent. Laid out some serious damage there. Yeah, I noticed that he's starting to land that uppercut a little bit. The only thing that I wouldn't be satisfied with what he did the last round, I would just look forward for confidence to do more as sort of a good roadmap to maybe even get a knockout victory here. Put something on top of those uppercuts. You know the uppercut's landing. Now put something up top. Considering the fact that in the last round, he got tagged hard, he looks great right now to open up this round. Well, I'm not shocked because I think he has character. I think there's substance to him. And the only way that you find the metal of a person is when you test him, when you push him up against the cliff. And he's being tested now, and he's showing what he's made of. And he's holding. Mayweather's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Atta boy, keep swinging, baby. Double up the punch. Quick snapping hook, and it does damage. That's okay, that's okay. Let it go, let it go. And he just holds on there.
and he decides to tie up right again. Now. More punches, baby. Punches and bunches. Let's see. Come up. Come up. Good block there by Money. A well-placed overhand right. He clearly came in with a strategy here tonight, Teddy, and so many times it's, hey, I'm going to bang that drum. Yeah, he is banging that drum. That drum happens to be the body, and he figures that he's going to try to move on him, so start doing it early on, and later on, he's going to have a guy in front of him. An accurate left by Roberto Duran. Mayweather's proving to be elusive. Hit the body, baby, body blow. <sighs> left and right, left and right. Come on, baby. <laughs> He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by Roberto Duran. That's what I like to see. That's my man. Keep fighting, baby. And bang, and away he goes. Late goings here of this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? up from the knockdown, but what we really want to look for is how he reacts in the coming moments of this fight. Ten seconds to go in this third round. Nice block by Roberto Duran. Relax, relax, just relax, you're doing fine. Now you're leaving yourself open, guys. You're throwing your punches wide. Keep tight. Right. Keep them tight. Oh, Feel That's good? It. Excellent. Keep going. You don't need that. No. Throw that away. Come on. Breathe now. Deep breath. You're in control of this fight. But don't get careless out there. Keep boxing smart. I need you to box him. Wait for him and boom! Having put his opponent down on the canvas, he's already easily taken the first three rounds of this fight as we begin round number four, Teddy. Well, it has been easy for him because his opponent has no defense. He just walks in and he's eating punches. Money's trying to steady himself in this round after being knocked down in the previous round. Teddy, how much can really happen in those 60 seconds? How much of a benefit is it to a damaged fighter? Well, a lot has to happen. First of all, physically. You have to revigorate the guy. You know, maybe massage the legs a little bit. Most importantly, get some ice on the back of his neck. You know, get that on, blood flow going head. a little bit. Make sure that you revive him a little bit. Get him back to feeling like he's ready to go out there. Oh. Roberto Durant snap by a right hand. Teddy, explain this to me. Hey, this fighter, did you see that? Remember earlier, he was on the canvas. Now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought it was a bad thing earlier for him. It turned out to be a bad thing for his opponent because he got careless here. One, two, three, four, five. Durant's getting back up to his feet after being knocked down. He missed that uppercut. One, two, one, two, that's it. Money shot, money shot. Good exchange, he fires back. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Durant's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. That gives the trainer's credit. Of course, that's give his background of the amateur's credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. Oh, he Mayweather stunned. Wow, both guys have gotten... Wow! And he goes down for a second time. Does he have a...
enough this time to rise up and continue on. One, two, three, four, five. Mayweather's climb back up from the canvas may inspire him. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Fourth round now Come with on, its last kid. 10 focus seconds. Now. I need you to focus for me. Listen, that's the kind of round that puts fans on their feet, but the kind of round that gets a corner man anxious. What do you tell a guy after he's been in a back and forth brawl like that? Move your head, keep your hands up, you know, don't get caught with those shots. We worked in the gym to get away from those shots. And one other thing, you gotta give him a little confidence, remind him, hey, we trained for a tough fight, you're ready for this. You can't let this guy throw first. You can't be first. When he throws first, he's able to set that power shot. I wonder if those 60 seconds were enough, Teddy. He was knocked down in that last round. Now he's right back out there. That 60 seconds has been enough for fighters in his position before. This sport's been around way over 100 years. It's up to him Keep to moving. do the things he needs to do early on in this round. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Now hugging on the, the inside. The Money's got to find an answer for this because his accuracy has been well off the mark. I like the fact he's willing to throw, but he needs to land more. Yeah, he Get needs to me. calm down and think more. Good shot to the head with that right. Mayweather's hurt by a big shot. Teddy, he's solid. Forget about the judges. This one may be over now. Mayweather's down, and he looks like he's in bad shape. When you fall that way, you usually don't get up. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's all over. Duran's in prime form. Power surge here. Knockout winner. Roberto Duran's fitting end to a very strong night for him. There is a business component to this game here, this boxing game. And the business component is, yeah, you got to win, but you want to win spectacularly. You want to get people interested, excited. He just did that. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you next time.